<laughs> Yo! What up guys and welcome back to another one. Today's video is extremely important. It's huge to me. It's something that I've always wanted to do. I knew that I was going to have to work my butt off to make it happen. And guess what? We did it. We did it. We got permission on one of the hottest roost rooftop buildings in downtown here where I live, my city. So, downtown is absolutely plastered with pigeons. The population of pigeons in my hometown is staggering, especially for the size of my hometown. We're at about, I don't know, 45K around there, the number of people. So, for the amount of pigeons we have for our downtown area, it is insane. But you can tell we're out here at the truck stop. I had to pick up the old trap. It's time we go sit this bad boy on top of a building. You know how long it's been since I've wanted a thumbnail of me trapping pigeons on top of different random buildings? Forever! Ah. Oh, but we're gonna load this bad boy up. Hopefully it fits with all my junk back here. Oh yeah, we got her. Snug as a bug in a rug. Hmm, <laughs> yup. All right, so what the plan is? Plan is, I got permission on top of this building yesterday. The reason why this was one of my go-to buildings initially is because I did some city scouting. Y'all seen it on one video, I'm pretty sure. I did a lot of scouting for like a handful of days and I, and I found which buildings were the hottest, the roost, the hot spots where the birds wanted to be. I didn't just want to go on random buildings. I wanted to treat this like hunting, like normal trapping. Let's scout them. Let's see what they like. Let's go knocking on the front door. So I got permission on it yesterday. Uh, the owner was extremely nice. Very, very nice. He was like, okay, wait, you're going to go up there, take care of a major pigeon problem that I've been dealing with for well over 20 years, probably for free. He was like, what do you need out of me? I said, your permission for me to go trap these pigeons safely and humanely. And he goes, deal. <laughs> but around this building, I will show you guys, they have spent thousands upon thousands of dollars on pigeon deturrence. And what I mean by deturrence uh, is anything from the chrome uh, reflective spinners, you know, the wind spinners. It's supposed to keep them off of rooftops. Doesn't work at all to owl decoys. A lot of businesses in town have a ton of owl decoys everywhere, but they have spent a ton of money on spike strip. And they have spike strips all the way around the, the rooftop, all over their AC units, yada, yada, yada. So we're gonna help these people out and get some awesome videos as well. What a match made in heaven, right? Whew. Goodness, I've had to f climb like floor flights, <laughs> four flights of stairs. Check this one out. <laughs> That's a vertical dude right there. Getting these, getting all my stuff up there. Just the trap initially is gonna be the hard thing. Once we get the trap up there, it'll just be camera and food every time I come and go. <sighs> all right, we're up here. Right off the bat, I'm sorry if it's windy, but we're on a rooftop. <laughs> but check it out, we are up here. What a freaking dream come true. And, like I said, we're not just on any rooftop downtown. We're on one of the rooftops downtown. Look at old dude over there in the corner. I already got a walker over there. Old lone pigeon. But over here, I, I can't wait till I get a better zoom lens. But right here, the edge of this behind those big ACs. I'll see if I can zoom in here. Yeah, right there loaded I mean loaded there's literally a hundred pigeons on that building right now here we go how awesome what a dream come true I'm telling you guys you work hard enough for something you want something bad enough you'll get it just work honestly just like the YouTube channel just like all this work for it it'll come sorry I just thought I needed to share a little bit of inspiration I I'm feeling happy today this is what we got going on, y'all. It's in the little corner section of the building here, up here on the roof, and I've been looking. I, I figured when I got up here, let's see, check it out. They have spent a lot of money on roof spike everywhere. But where we're gonna set the trap is uh, is right here in this little, little corner. For the simple fact of, right now with the south wind, it's got a good wind block. 
Jordan, he was like, we might have to make little wooden troughs to go inside of the trap to hold the food so it doesn't blow because it is really windy up here already. Look at this guy, just everywhere. I'm telling you, a group of 20 uh, went literally right over my head as I initially came out the door. But right here, you can tell they perch here a lot. And check this out. Get out these cinder blocks have been here forever. So you can tell they stand right here and they poop right here. Same thing with this. They stand right here, they poop there, they stand there, they poop there. So they're already used to this little corner anyways. I'm thinking it'll work. But uh, I have a door turned this way. I'm probably going to do it like this. And a door turned that way. But we're going to go ahead and bait her here. I'm going to put the food right in the middle. Just like that. We don't need to use a lot, I don't think. I'm going to uh, sprinkle a little bit going out just so they can find it. Not too much. Sprinkle a little bit this way just so they can find it. And that's it. I sprinkle just a little bit that way just so they can find the trap as well as this. They'll be here, obviously. They like roosting right here. And with the wind, I can already see it moving the grain around. So a lot of this is gonna get moved around. That's bad, that's bad news. That's what I don't want. Because if that grain gets blown out constantly with wind, it's not gonna stay in the trap and we're not gonna trap them, obviously. And then over here, check out this. Got this little like electric, electric little deal here, yeah? Check out all the pigeon poop right there. They stand on this little bitty rail right on the edge, right on the corner of the building. A lot of times you'll see a lot of pigeons, tons of pigeons, sitting on the corner of a building. That, that's what it is right there. So we have so many opportunities. We can probably run three traps on this one rooftop, I would, uh, I would guess. But I do want to try another trap down in that corner for sure. The only problem with the corner is if it's windy at all, the food's going to blow bad. But I can tell that is an absolute hot spot. Cool. How freaking cool. Now, I don't think we're going to trap. Ooh, bad wind. I don't think we're going to trap one here for just a little while. I think it's going to be kind of like the truck stop. I think it's going to be a lot easier than the truck stop, to be quite honest. It should be. But we're gonna have to let these birds get used to the trap. We're gonna have to let them find the food, see the trap, get used to the trap being there. You know what I'm saying? Because when they first see it, they're like, oh, there's some good food, but what's that thing? So give it about two days, three days, and I think we'll be trapping a lot, a lot. Yo! <laughs> All right, it is the next day. Oh, oh God. These are steep. So this stairs, these stairs are steep. Probably should have waited to try to film what I was doing here. But I figured, oh my goodness, look at that. That right there, my friends, is a steep flight O stairs. Alrighty, so this is uh, the door to get outside. You gotta unlock it. There's this whole locking system, which is pretty darn neat. Okay, so it's been right at pretty much 24 hours since I put the traps out. And uh, I have no idea what to expect. I have a feeling the wind probably blew our feet around quite a bit. Ooh, there goes a pigeon over there. Okay. Okay, so we got nothing. We got nada. Right when I walked up here, right over there in that corner where I showed you uh, yesterday, where they like to roost on that little electric line, one just left right there. I might. Should I move the, should, should I move the trap down there? Or is it just gonna take a long time for these pigeons to get used to us? Cause that's one day down, one day. And, and I think I just got permission on another rooftop. It's a good one. And it's in a whole nother area. So we'll be hitting, you know what I mean? We'll be having a few spots that we can jump around on. I can't wait till the day we have like 10 or 20 rooftops and that's all we're doing. Just boom, 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 boom. Because we have a barn loft to fill. Jordan got his barn loft going, y'all. We got to fill it up. But boy, the pigeons are a flying today. Man, this building 
This rooftop across the alleyway, these roofs are just always stacked. Look at this, uh, look at that auburn. Here they come. Frickin' beautiful. Like it's constant. I almost think that I need to put two traps up here though. Look at them just busting all over. Busting. They just busting. Guys, look at the room. I'm just on this end of the rooftop. We got a lot of rooftop over there, and I think that corner is money. The one thing is, is that I can only check my traps during business hours, when they're open and when the doors are unlocked, when I can just come up here, you know what I mean? They didn't give me a key, which is fine. That, that'd, be, that'd be a little much to ask for a key, you know what I mean? But it's awesome. They're just like, hey, if we're open, uh, ooh, that was a pretty one. That was a black one with white wingtips. And it seems like this rooftop right here is absolutely loaded too so if you guys have any tips that i need to be doing you guys see the layout here this is our first major major rooftop that we're on and we are in the heart of the pigeons what do i need to do what's some what's some tactics that i'm missing do i need to just have more traps do i need to present food in an area without a trap yet maybe we'll do that let them get used to the food being up here I don't know. Drop a comment down below. You got to let me know. God, look at all these birds. Oh, well, that's a flock of 200 and they're just spilling off. Oh my, it's a lot of birds. They're all landing on that rooftop across the alley. It's loaded again, just like yesterday when I set the trap. That rooftop was the money maker. Just hundreds on it at a time. <laughs> if you guys have any tips, any tips at all, that'll help your boy. Let's get them rolling here. This is I want these videos to be epic. That's why I worked my butt off getting permission to get up here. <laughs> but I hope you guys are enjoying these so far. It's wild. It really is. I never thought that I'd be doing this, this particularly as a hobby. But with you guys, you guys love it, and I love it as well. It's awesome. Get to come up here, check it out, take in the scenery for a minute, and trap pitch. <laughs> well, I got us an idea. I think what the what the tactic is, I'm gonna leave that trap over yonder. But I'm gonna but I'm gonna put some food out here on the corner so they find it. And so once they find it, we'll move the trap over here. This is where they want to be, so I'll let them get used to having a little bit of food here. But, like I said before, it's going to blow pretty bad. We're not going to put much out. Put about that much right there, because what's going to happen, it's going to blow with any more wind that we have. It's like our south wind right now is probably, probably 10 to 15 mile an hour, 15 mile an hour gusts pretty much. And it's already trying to move that weed around a little bit. <laughs> well, I've been so busy trapping these uh, pigeons on the rooftop, uh, I forgot to do a, an outro for this video. But guys, please, please, just know, be expecting some banger rooftop pigeon trapping videos. It's wild, it's ramped up, it's gotten crazy, and I have literally been cranking out doing it the past week. We got some saucy videos on the way for y'all, so I hope y'all are hype, just like me. This is awesome. It's so much fun. I'm glad I'm trying it. Thanks to you guys, we got a new hobby. But please, if you guys like this video, smash that thumbs up for your boy. It means a bunch. Let's get this video over 2,000 likes. It literally only takes 0.2 seconds. Just smash that little button down there. Hit that notification bell down there. It'll notify you when I upload, because these pigeon videos on the rooftops we got permission on other rooftops as well. So it's just ramping up out of control. But again, thank y'all for being here. We'll see you on the next one. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.